Sun, moon, rising, Venus, let's rock and roll. Hello, Taurus. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you tonight. Thanks for tuning in one more time, Taurus. My bull gang gang. Appreciate your views. You know I do. Thanks for hitting the old subscription button while you're thinking about it if you haven't done that yet. Thanks for hitting that like button one more time. So very, very kind of you. Appreciate you. You know, I always want to take a minute of gratitude and thank my many, many Taurus friends that have blessed me over the years. It's because there's a lot of you. Taurus, have you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form? Thank you so very much. So very kind of you. Appreciate them all, large or small. Taurus, I am playing a freestyle a freestyle tarot game with you tonight uh, from Voice and Vision. These are relationship spreads. They can talk about home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids. But I'm looking for love. You know me. I got some love cards on here. The he said, she says, we're going to do with the tarot Illuminati or clarification, all that. And I got some major arcanas here, too. I want to remind all my cross watchers, you're absolutely welcome here. And my readings can absolutely play out from a first person perspective for who's ever looking at them. So get your discerner on. Get your discerner on. We're playing tarot around here. And I want to remind everybody um, this Sunday, the 28th of January, 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, I'm going to do a live broadcast on Sunday night. And we're going to do our drawing. We're going to do our drawing. I'm giving away a bunch of t-shirts. I'm giving away some tarot decks. And I'm giving away a free FaceTime tarot read with old Ramblin' Mike. And it'll be at least an hour long. All you got to do to enter is leave me a comment. Give me a happy face, Taurus. Give me a hi, Mike. You know how to do it right there. And, uh... And tune in Sunday. Tune in Sunday, huh? Tune in Sunday. I will send you back a little pink ticket, let you know your name's in the barrel. All right, Taurus. Taurus, babies. Oh, man. I keep seeing new world energy for you. That's nice. Doesn't surprise me with this transit going on. But let's do it. Taurus, that's a world card for you about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Let's go. Let's see what that's about. Let's cut this deck, Taurus style. Rock and roll, Taurus babies. Here we go. Oh, again, look at, look, look. You know, um, Eight of Cups is about um, letting a situation go that's no longer emotionally fulfilling. You know, we, we, we're, going, we're going on a hike in the woods. We're going to take a little break. We're going to find the old uh, uh, mountaintop where Source is at. And uh, we're going to go look for our ninth and tenth cup of wish fulfillment. Beautiful stuff right there. Here we go. Here we go. Doesn't surprise me at all with this energy showing up in the collective. Here we go. Taurus, eight cups. I showed you the world card. Let's go. Let's go. Show me what's going on, Taurus. Taurus, relationship spread. Here we go. What's going on? Oh, three swords. Three swords. You know, we're clearly done with this situation right here. Three swords and eight cups. Now, eight cups can be challenging, my Taurus babies, my fixed earth babies, right? Because eight cups can talk about that you put a lot of love and emotions into a situation. And just come down to the day of enough is enough. You know what I'm doing if this is resonating with you? We're going to shake this energy out right here. This is a breakup card. We're going to shake this energy. There may have been too many damn... There's too many swords right there. Let's shake them out right here, Taurus. Here we go. Out! 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 Out of Taurus's heart. Out of Taurus's spread. Out of Taurus's life. Let's go. Let's go. Taurus, babies. Taurus babies, I just saw Hangman, so Hangman gets to come out of the tree because Hangman's thinking differently these days. Hangman is thinking differently these days. And strength, look at all this. And the world card again. Strength. And a world card. Let's go, man. What's going on around here? 
Give me one for Taurus. A full card. You're pulling majors. You're pulling major arcanas. Uh, this is about a fresh start and a new beginning. A leap of faith, possibly in a new direction. That is a major arcana. We can put um, Aquarius on that. It's Uranus. It's the planet of the sudden change. Um, it's uh, also Aries. Um, it's, the, it's the restart button. It's a... Uh, it's a fresh start, a new beginning, a leap of faith, and a new direction. All right, here we go, here we go. Taurus, Taurus, what's going on, please? Hey, a king of wands came out on there. Um, there may be a king of wands in your near future right here, or a king of wands could be coming, making themselves known to you. King of wands gets up out of that throne, and they go get what they want. Uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy just showed up here with a face card. After the fool, Taurus. After the fool. Could be somebody new. Let's go. Give me a little bit on this, please. Oh, no. What's going on around here? Um, I got a tower. I got a tower that just showed up with a king and a queen of wands. Again, this could indicate some kind of ending, uh, to some kind of relationship. A lot of passion right here. Um, but uh, we got eight cups up on the top and too many damn swords around here. Could be, could be something coming to a close around here, Taurus. The king and the queen of passion. Um, you know, I mean, it is what it is, but let's get some love. Yeah, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? That's six swords right there. That's six swords. That's a card of movement. Releasing yourself from, uh, you know, whatever's going on around here. That old king and queen of passion. Look like Taurus wants some cups. Some cups. Uh, six swords is about uh, getting in the boat. You know. Leaving the past in the past. Um, driving around all those swords. I like how Mr. Marchetti puts the swords coming up out of the water instead of in the boat. Um, maneuvering, maneuvering. Gonna, uh, fresh start, new beginning for you. Um, King and the Queen of Wands with a tower in between them after three swords and eight cups. To six swords, it clearly says that my Taurus that I'm reading for is definitely moving in a new direction in life. Let's see what's going on. Show me more about this six swords right here for Taurus, please. Taurus. Taurus. Yeah, wow, the dance of change. Looks like you may be uh, going to give somebody an offer right here. This is a card about being balanced. Yeah, I call it the dance of change as well. You can see that that uh, that character right there. Um, you know, they, they certainly look like they're giving an offer. Certainly looks like they're giving an offer. So, oh, it looks like you're going to be happy to. I'm looking at nine cups right there. And the high priestess leads us and guides us. More on this, Taurus. Taurus, please. Here we go. We got a new offer coming in here. It's on the board. Four of Pentacles. Um, a Four of Pentacles is a card again about shutting the door. Shutting the door to a situation, closing a door. There's a key to open up a new world right there. Potentially, that's what it's talking about. Shutting the door. Oh, wow, and the wheel spins. And the wheel spins. M Major Arcana, Sagittarius, the wheel spins. You could be hearing from somebody that you know, right? The wheel just showed up. And then I say that because uh, Six Swords is here. Excuse me, Six Cups. Six cups. You already have six swords on the board. A lot of sixes. Let's talk about potential for harmony and bliss. Six cups is sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet. 
And uh, definitely completing a cycle right here. Another 10. Another 10. Huh? 10 swords. Uh, the ending of a very painful cycle. Or the promise of a new day to dawn. Really nice. Who is this right here? I want to know who this is. Two pinnacles to the wheel of fortune. Taurus seems to be closing the door on the situation. Got a fool energy on here. Case of Rossabra, whatever will be, will be. Definitely see you wanting to get in the boat. Yeah, look, look, look. Who is this right here? Who's, this is four cups, right? It's four cups. There's all those doggone empty cups right there. Look at that one up in a tree. Got a couple of lovebirds on this four cup right there. Look at this. Six of cups, four cups. How many of you know with the Wheel of Fortune, huh? That makes ten cups. That makes so uh, destiny, fate. <laughs> hey, man, where are you going? Who are you thinking about right here? Definitely completing a, a very painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn. Of course, this can be vice versa as well. Nice, we've got a new energy. We've got a new energy showing up around here. I want you healing. I want you loving on yourself. Wow, I just counted for me right there, Taurus. Oh, there's the Ten Cups you were looking for, Mike. You know, that's the uh, promise of the quintessential universal dream. Wow, look what came behind that. Three Cups. So, this could be a reconciliation energy and an Ace of Cups. And cups! Wow, we're getting Cups. We are getting Cups around here. Cups galore. Uh, that could be a reconciliation energy. Can be. Somebody new, although there's a reevaluation card here sitting right beside six cups and the wheel. Three cups is a card of happiness and joy and bliss, and an ace of cups, and an ace of cups, you know, is the potential for a new beginning. Oh, two pages here. Two pages here. I got a page of wands. That's passionate communication. And I got a page of cups. But, you know, that's communication cards right there. Taurus. Taurus. Um, and, uh, you know, page of cups for me is a sweet, sweet, you know, crushy crush. Passionate crushy crush communication coming in here for Taurus. Maybe somebody that you know. Could very well be. All I know is you're ending ten swords. You are ending three swords. You're probably already up at the mountaintop right there with eight cups. Because all these cups just showed up around here. You know, eight cups are going to the mountaintop. See if we can find that ninth and tenth cup. Well, we got ten cups on your board. We actually got 20 cups on your board. 21 cups on your board. <laughs> Let's go. 22 cups on your board. Wow. All right, a lot of cups. <laughs> a lot of cups, Taurus. Ended a very painful cycle. Let's see, who are you thinking about right here? Let's use these two as my significators, right? Let's use this one for my Taurus babies, male or female. And let's use this for potentially your new friend right here. Or it could be somebody that you know. All right, let's go. That little page of wands right there. Passionate communication. That's communication make you feel good. Makes you feel good. All right, what are they thinking and feeling about Taurus? What are they thinking and feeling about Taurus? Taurus, here we go. What are they thinking and feeling? Oh, six pins. Uh, that's an energy of equal give and take. It's also an entrepreneur energy. Oh, wow. That's nice. I say that because, you know, they can think about you as maybe a potential power couple right there. Six of Pins is an entrepreneur energy for me. What else are they thinking and feeling about uh, Taurus? 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 Oh. <laughs> Taurus. Taurus. Uh, that's nine of wander right there. <laughs> that's nine of wander. Um, <laughs> well, vice versa. Um, they, you know, this is somebody that wants equal give and take, I'll tell you that. 
The old wounded warrior be looking at six pinnacles over there, Taurus. <laughs> Uh, but you know the old wounded warriors they got no quitting sense they got no quitting sense they do have that ace of wands in their hand all right Taurus all right a high priestess came out oh they think oh who is this right here they just may not understand you you know they just may not understand you. High Priestess came out, right? My Priestess of the Moon, my Keeper of the Mysteries of the Collective Unconscious. Tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the Divine. Uh, may have been still here for a while between these two. Yeah, wow, man. Let's see you as a High Priestess. You're mysterious, you know. That's, that's my very sexy, very spiritual High Priestess right there. They're definitely attracted to you. <laughs> but they may not understand you yet. <laughs> but, uh, look at that right there. Six pins is there. Six pins is there. I think, I think. Oh, but you still ring their bells, man. Look at that. Look at that, Taurus. Nine cups. Nine cups. You still ring their bells, my very sexy, very spiritual high priestess. And they be thinking four wands. They be thinking about dancing around the maypoles with you. They be thinking about a rebirth energy. They be thinking about Phoenix from its ashes. Okay. All right. Big Scorpio card right there. Big Scorpio card. All right. And, and Nine of Wands may not even be that energy that they have towards you. We all live on Earth. It's amazing we're not all wandering around a wounded warrior. Anyway, I see him staring right at my queen of love. Look at this is a love story here. This is a love story here. This is my empath. Right? Psychic abilities. My healer, my dreamer. Looks like, looks like we are going towards love. Look at all these love cards on here. All these cups. It's gorgeous. Give me a couple of cards for my Taurus babies, please. Let's see what let's see what their love life's been like for a minute right here. Taurus, Taurus, give me a card right here, please. A three wands can talk about your friend right here. Maybe for some of you, it could be at a distance. But I think you guys, um, they look like they're on the same page to me. They may be ending an old cycle too with nine wands showing up for them. Oh, and I said that right there. Look, man, three swords came out. Three swords came out when I shifted my intentions uh, about your friend over here being nine wands. They may, you guys are mirroring each other. <laughs> hey, they may let some go too. Let's get all these swords out of here. Out, 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 out of this love story. Out of this love story. Um, they again showed up as the dance of change themselves. There's a infinity symbol around that. Uh, soulmate energy, the dance of change. Ooh, I think it's for both of them right here. Wow, 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 wow. Let's go, let's go. Go, go back to uh, Taurus right here, love team. Taurus. What's Taurus thinking and feeling these days? Are you ready for love? I'm ready for love. There it is right there. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. See the ships coming in. Oh, this is really nice, man. Beautiful energy, my lovelies. Beautiful energy. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What's Taurus thinking and feeling these days? <laughs> oh, I see it right here. Yeah, many of you are uh, um, healing. Look at all these damn swords right here. Seven of swords. Ten swords. A beautiful four swords right there about spending some time with source. Healing the heart and healing the mind. Using that four sword right there to cut chains that bind. Beautiful Taurus and a beautiful healing energy right here. The potential of a new beginning. A new beginning over here. It's got ten cups on it, baby. Ten cups. Because whoever I'm reading for, they be thinking four wands with you. Says so you're ready for new love. There's that ace. There's that ace about new beginnings. There's that sharp ace. That sharp ace that uh, cuts ties that bind and opens up a new path. 
for Taurus. Look at that right there, man. That's solid movement. That is solid movement right there behind. Yeah, and there's your ten swords. Look at it. Is, is this you? So this is solid movement. Um, he is, he's the only knight, if you ask me, that uh, has the potential to cross the uh, four of wands finish line right there. Um, and it says that, it, again, it ends, it ends a very painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn. That's a nice day dawning right there. That's the sun card right here. That's the sun card. Look at this journey my Taurus baby's been on. My queen of love, my impasse. All right, let's pull a couple of love cards right here, Taurus. A couple of love cards right here. I do got some communication, so somebody be brave, be bold. Got to keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Got to free yourself. Free yourself. Too many swords over there. Too many swords over there. Separation. Definitely separating yourself from somebody right here. But again, I mean, uh, we got six cups over here. Knowing that you deserve love. Keeping an open mind. Could be a new love for many of you too. This is beautiful new energy coming in here for my Taurus babies. And um, worth waiting for. Divine timing came out. Divine timing came out. Freeing yourself. Paying attention to red flags. Separation right here. The three cups can talk about a reconciliation or a new love. I was on my spread right here. It's new, 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 new. New, 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 new. Letting go of the control issues. Allowing it to uh, unfold. Wow. Soulmate card. Soulmate card, new love, and the beautiful, beautiful honeymoon card. Uh, it says enjoy the bliss of time together. Getting to know each other. This is nice, man. Passion. Wow, 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 wow. Taurus. Beautiful energy right here. For some of you, it's a reconciliation. For some of you, it's somebody new. All I know, man, is you're freeing yourself from all that Ten Swords energy over there. Beautiful, beautiful. And if it is somebody you know, it appears that you're mirroring them. That's good. That's good. That puts you large and in charge. So keep your vibration nice and high. That way, that way, when these two talking, we got some high vibers. And uh, that's what um, Honeymoon talks about with me. It's very high vibe energy of going and playing with somebody very special. Tara Strength from the Gods. A big Leo card right there. I love your spirit guide. You know, there's some blue devils right there. We ain't playing with blue devils in 2024. No, thank you. You know, Taurus, we come in peace. But hey, man, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna act like a fool, we're prepared. I like that strength because there's some change going on around here for my Taurus babies. Yeah, it's a whole new world. It's a whole new world. It's about an old cycle ending. And a new cycle beginning. Looks like a new lover. Or maybe somebody you know. The lover's card. And to the sun again. Now the sun is a very beautiful card about abundance, prosperity. You know. The good life. Taurus, what a beautiful, beautiful spread, my friends. Um, if you made it to this point in the reading, thank you for your view. Appreciate you so very, very much. Um, Taurus, hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button. Ring that old bell over there, Taurus. Hit that old I like Mike button, if you would. Appreciate that. Uh, I got some videos around here if you'd like to stick around, play a little bit more tarot with me. Definitely going to pull some cards on this, huh? Definitely see a huge cycle shift going on. Looks like a special one for you, Taurus. May all your dreams come true. Love and light, Taurus. Bye for now. Wow. Look at all this, man.